Hello, my name is Rick Torbett and welcome to Dynamic Defense. Fortunately for you and me, I crossed paths a few years ago with Coach Dick Helm, whose four-level approach to teaching defense caught my eye. There are two prerequisites or basic requirements that must be met before work on level one can begin. Moving mechanics and rebounding techniques. So I've asked two experts on moving mechanics to help us out. Whenever we're talking about efficient defense, it's important to understand that all movement can be broken down into three planes of motion. There's forwards and backwards movement, sometimes called the sagittal plane. There's side to side movement, sometimes called the frontal plane. And there's rotational movement, sometimes called the transverse plane. Excellent. Six more. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Excellent job. Floor. Hurdle. Left. Turn. Left. Turn. Right. Woo! One thing to remember for every drill is that to achieve maximum improvement, the player has to go full speed. That's it, quick through there. Go, come on. Good, quick off that left foot. Go, quick. Good. That's good, just keep it going the whole way. That's right. I'm placing rebounding in the prerequisites of playing defense because defense isn't over until you've rebounded. Coach Chad Warner at Shorter University in Rome, Georgia gave this drill to me. It's actually a drill that combines levels 0, 1, and 2. The drill starts with your level 2 position of denying the pass into the post. I've asked my friends at Point Guard College to teach this skill. They can give you enough to separate you from the ordinary defender. We're going to cover the aspects of charge taking. Can you guard the ball and also guard away from the ball? Your goal as a level two defender should be the same goal for your entire team at level two.
The help behind the recovering defender is the most important part of recovery. If it is fed in here, you have the air time of the pass to recover to right here. If not, you're dead, right? Work on your closeout. Good drive. So, you want to be a level three defender. Well then, here's the question. Can you guard the ball, guard away from the ball, and defend situations? What's a situation? How does a player learn to recognize situations and react decisively? The answer is, we reduce the principle into specifics that can be measured. We turn the principle into repeatable actions that can be drilled. A skill can be acquired if it can be turned into repetition, right? It becomes easy to grade your team at level three. Are they single, double, or triple A rated at level three? Let's review the definition of a level four defender. By now, you've seen all four levels of dynamic defense in excruciating detail. I've tried to leave no stone unturned when it comes to equipping you to install, teach, and grow in the system. And then I begin to think, what better way is there to equip you to teach dynamic defense than to watch Coach Helm himself teach it, from scratch, to a team that's never seen it, and to do so in about 45 minutes. Here's Coach Helm. Part of the film that you're going to be participating in enables both the coach and the player, such as yourself, to grade yourself defensively. The coach can grade you, and uh, you can grade yourself, because there are only four levels. Good. You've got to be a close talker. You trust yourself. You can do it. You can be a close talker. Go, 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 go. Good. Get back. All right, once you recover out, recover right back till you can locate your man because we're protecting what? That's right. Nobody comes in here. Force him side. Good. Good. That goes for all of you. You can see what happens. If I come clear out here to double team, keep him on his side. Good, 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 good. All right, recover. Good, good, good. Good, good, good rotation. Nice, nice, all right, I love it. That's it, that's it. Once it's in the air, you're already moving, so you're basically there when he catches it. Got it? We're doing pretty well. 
Uh, the thing that we would keep working on, see, you'd never done this before. We just started right in. And look what we were able to do in 45 minutes. I want to thank you. You did a wonderful job. Great to be here with you. Good work. Let's bring it in. One, two, three, defense. One, two, three, defense. defense. What if you had a mix of two great level one defenders, one level two, and two level three defenders, and you wanted to zone trap full court? Where are the best places for these defenders? Dynamic defense can be applied to zone defenses. Let's take a typical 2-3 zone as an example. A level one zone defender can defend the ball when it's in his or her zone area. They can crowd and bother the ball without giving up a drive to the highway, and they can discourage a pass being made as well. A level two zone defender can be in their assigned zone positions to primarily prevent the ball from being passed into the highway, and secondly, Folks, great to be with you today. Obviously, we're going to be talking about mental toughness and its connection to great defense. There is a saying in sports that mental toughness will never, ever guarantee you a championship. Painful to share, especially from an individual who's very passionate about speaking about the mental side of the game. But if we're being honest, mental toughness in and of itself will never, ever guarantee you a championship. Why? Because if you've been playing the game long enough, you understand well the importance of the physical side of the game, of just raw skill. You understand the importance of speed, agility, quickness, and strength in the game of basketball. And you surely understand the importance of cardiorespiratory conditioning, being in, in maximum shape, being in great condition. Mental toughness in and of itself will never ever guarantee you a championship. But isn't the rest of the saying also true? That a lack of mental toughness is guaranteed to cost you a championship. If you don't have the necessary levels of poise, focus, and confidence with the game on the line, in those key possessions that will determine the outcome of the game, the poise, the focus, and confidence, and commitment, if that's not in place, i.e. those elements of mental toughness, it is guaranteed to cost you a championship. And nowhere in basketball is this more true than on defense. But talking about defense and mental toughness, as important as it is, There is verbal commitment, there is physical commitment, and there is emotional commitment. Folks, I want to thank you for allowing me to share my passion with you for the past 30 minutes or so. And I want to wish each and every one of you tremendous success throughout the season and on through next year. Thanks so much.